All right, this thing is from Meepo, and it is basically a battery and some motors attached to big wheels, all right? It's not a bike, it's not a scooter, both are favorites. It's a skateboard, and it's not like any other skateboard because it has these huge, huge wheels. Look at all this. Look at all these rocks. This would just destroy any regular skateboard out here. Big inflatable wheels that don't throw me off ever. I have never hit something that thrown me off. The only time that I have fallen off this two times, one, it was because I was, it wasn't turning so as, as fast as I wanted it to, but I was going really slow. The second time, it wasn't me who fell, it was my son. It was because the board completely shut off. Why? I'll tell you about that in a second. Even the terrible step into my garage, speed bumps, anything, these wheels have taken like a champ. I mean, it can't be understated how big of a difference it is to be able to friggin' roll over anything, not have to care at all about the quality and smoothness of the ground, about if there's a pebble in front of me or anything like that. But I still get that snowboarding kind of smooth carving turns and stuff like that. You don't understand the kind of freedom this gives you as a board rider. Bro, you don't even know. <laughs> bro, bro. Let me, dude, we've lost a lot of good men out there to like pebbles. Off-road is definitely an option with this guy as well. It's kind of fun to do. Kind of makes me want to set up like a track out here. It's a blast. But for the most part, I am using this for beautiful carving turns, getting a little bit of that flow. You know, have you ever seen this New York Times video from way back in the day, this old neuroscientist who just rollerblades through like those fancy beach towns in LA on one leg, you can't see me with my legs coming up. Slow-mo is what it's called. I will link to it in like in the description at this time code. I will also link to this. If this convinces you to buy this, which I'm going to recommend this, please use my link. It helps support my children. Okay, I have six points for you. First of all is holy shit, the acceleration. The acceleration on this thing. The acceleration is so fast. So much faster than any of the bikes that I have. You know, I have to be clear, I didn't, pay, I didn't pay for this. I convinced them to send it to me. There's a lot of these on the market like this. And so I just reached out to a few of them. Meepo's the one that got back to me. I just, the idea of a big wheeled skateboard. I knew that the acceleration on a skateboard's incredible. It's incredible. It's so much fun. It can be scary. This thing has four speeds uh, for the actual speed itself, okay? Four, the speed four is insane, it's bonkers. It's bonkers, but it's nice when, you have, when you're going up some hills. It's really nice because it does give you more speed, but it, the acceleration at speed four, it, it's downright scary. When sometimes kids come over to the house and I let them ride this and I make damn sure that it's on speed one. It has to be on speed one because it is just bonkers how fast this goes. This is going up a slight uphill on speed three. Oh, that's sketchy. I mean, it's going so fast up the hill, I have to tighten my freaking trucks. I think it gets squarely fast on four. I'm gonna put it back on three. You also can adjust the speed of the brake and then you can also double click the power button and it'll reverse directions. But, uh, and I can't re remember how I adjusted the brakes. Push, pull down to brake mode and then you change brake mode. That's how fast 
it breaks, and I have it on brake one, I think. It's nice that you can adjust that, right? I have it on brake one and speed four half the time. The second point is these big wheels make a massive difference. It feels so much safer than standard skateboard wheels. It's weird to ride a skateboard this fast and not have any worry about rock stuff. And these roads around here, which are very bumpy, gravelly, to have zero worry about that. The only worry I have is if you go a little too fast and you get that speed wobble, it's like, whoa, right off the accelerator, because that can happen. Tighten up the trucks a little bit. Point number three, these big, buttery, smooth carving tour <laughs> turns are like, it's like, it, that's how, it's like literally how I know that I'm coming into middle age. Smooth carving turns and you're leaning all the way into it, almost like you're surfing. It's incredible. On the asphalt itself, it's cool because you're, you're really locked in and you can go fast. On the off-road stuff, you get some of this like fishtail-y kind of stuff and that also is freaking, it's just rad. It's awesome. Like those turns are, I, like they're incredible. To this point number four, I actually use it. I actually use it. I use it to take a break. One of the things I definitely love the most about this is just taking a break. Just getting out of the office for a minute. I use it to take the garbage cans out. This is hands down the most fun electric thing I've ever ridden. And I also use it to, uh, to, do, to move the garbage cans. It makes taking the garbage cans out this long driveway fun. Not fun so much, but it's like, it, it makes it, it, makes it a, a job that's kind of like, oh, okay, let's stay balanced. I use it to go over to a friend's house that doesn't live too far away instead of driving my car or riding a bike or something like that. It's super fun. I use it like to do that late at night with a headlamp because I don't have to worry about hitting a snake or a rock or something like that. It's just gonna, the wheels are just gonna carry me. I use it to get up this huge hill around here to go watch the sunset, okay? I use it to do things because half of the fun of doing that thing is just riding this to get there. And then you've got the open road, man, out here in the hill country, but uh, it's just some speed and some flow. This probably looks pretty dumb what I'm doing right now, but it feels freaking great. <laughs> Going downhill on a skateboard when you've got a brake on your thumb, you know? So nice. Even if you don't use it, it's just nice to know you got it. Can you sense that like sort of boy, boyish enthusiasm? Okay, I have two more points. It is a pain in the ass to carry. You can't, you can't carry this. Don't, don't, don't commute with this. They have their like, it's like a commuting sort of thing. This is so heavy. This is so heavy super heavy this entire thing is just a battery right it's heavier than you than you can imagine and to my final point here there has there's been some fixing already there's been some fixing that i've had to do already in fact i had to do a lot of carrying at one point because i was out in the middle of a ride where it had lasted for like five minutes five minutes you can get far enough with this thing when my daughter was on her bike all right, this is the second time it's done this where it just sort of shut off. To where carrying it back to where I needed, to where the car was, was such a hassle. This board was full when I left the house two minutes ago. Now it's showing completely empty. Why did that happen? Either this was a faulty battery which is what the company said. It, the, the previous battery was a faulty battery because after a little while, it just like, you would ride it for a bit and it would just stop. And that's what happened to my son. I mean, he was going pretty fast. He got f thrown off of it. Thank God he's like young enough and he can handle it. But that is, you cannot have that sort of, the fear of that will ruin something like this for you. Luckily, since we've changed the battery, there hasn't been any issues like that. So I think it was just a freak battery thing, but it had me worried because in the book it talks about if your battery is fully charged, you will, uh, you, you, there's a danger of if you're going downhill, it like sort of filling the battery with the regenerative sort of charging thing that you can, you can kind of like almost blow up the battery or the thing will just shut down. 
Um, I was afraid that that's what I was doing, or but the company said, no, it was just a faulty battery. They sent me a new one, I replaced it, and it has been great since then. I've just been conscientious about when it's charged up a bunch, when it's all the way fully charged, it's just scary to, it's just, honestly, every time I fully charge it, I get scared. Like I wanna like, you know, Ferris Bueller style, just like turn it on for a while on some pylons and just like try to get it down a block or two. And then the other kind of thing we, we gotta do is we gotta do right now. So inside of here, we have this drivetrain, okay? These two motors, and you see this little band right here? Way too loose, way too loose. Speed four. Let's give it, let's gun it. Whoa. Hold on, let's do it again. I don't know what that sound is. Whoa. We've got some slippage going on with what? With these, maybe? I'm really wondering how much maintenance this thing is gonna require over time. Because already I had a battery go wrong, but they fixed that and replaced that. They sent a few replacement parts with the new box. Like it comes with some different replacement bits. Of spare parts, including like a, a whole other pair of wheels. I think you have choices of this stuff when you buy. Okay, so here's, here's with the wheel off. You can see this kind of, this is too much, too much give. So I remove, the whole wheel setup, and then I've got access to these four screws here. Once I've loosened those and then put the wheel base back on, I can get myself into the right position, tighten everything up. Nice, and then just get this thing right back, right back on there. Now listen, I'm a long way in my life from like picking up a new hobby, like having something that I gotta like get on Reddit threads about and be like, oh yeah, you heard about the new this or that or the other. Like I'm not looking for that kind of thing, you know? But this has been so fun, I've loved it. I've loved it enough to go, all right, if I have to adjust the tension on a belt every now and again, all right, not so bad. But even that is not the kind of thing that I want to be doing. I, want, I just want my products to work. However, by nature of having a belt drive, which may be the reason why this works so well, that acceleration, the speed, the smoothness. Well, I don't know. I don't know why they're doing belt drive. I also don't know why this truck has two trucks. What the hell? Never seen anything like that. I don't know why, but I'm glad that it's there because it seems to be working. Do I sound like such a baby? It's like, I'm not looking for something that I need to, you know, read an instructional manual about and I don't have the right tools for it and I just want it to work right out of the box. I do. I do want it to just work right out of the box. So this thing I have like a relationship with now because we had the battery go out. We had the like, uh, uncertainty about what it was gonna if it was gonna throw me once I changed the battery now I feel like I trust it fully again and I'm and it's taken a while but I've fully gotten back into having fun with it and this is the first time I've adjusted the tension on those things and so it's like all right I'm starting to take my relationship with this board seriously <laughs> now I'm absolutely serious about the uh, the off-roading stuff Whoa! belt drive works a lot better or I'm also in four. All right, so for the money, this has got to be one of the most fun electric vehicles I've ever encountered. That's my that's my review. I'm I was so excited to try this out and I have been so worried that when the battery didn't work and I had to adjust belts and stuff like that, that I'd be like, eh, do I even? But that has been overshadowed by how freaking like juvenile the delight is in using it. Shout out to Meepo. Thanks for sending that out. Use my link below if you get convinced on this. Let me know if you know of other boards. I'd love to try them all out 
and see if, if there's any if there's actually anything better. I just remember this one being like it goes so fast. The fastest I was going uphill there, I think, was like 27. And I don't know if that's in kilometers or miles. I think it's in miles, 27 miles an hour. And I don't know if I agree with that. I don't know if I believe. But it's fun. Meepo, link below. F uh, you know, support me on Patreon. Bye. Yeah. yeah. Love. 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 I pity the that step to me though. Flow too clean. I'm bite by new tocitos. Been the shit since now. Later popping and buying hot Cheetos. The free throw. Easy. Please believe me, baby. Bought a Tesla. Bought a Rolex. Watching.